wait, is this satire? Y'all defending Osama Bin Laden now? It's not that I'm defending him. I'm not defending him because, like, everything is fucked up. Like, all of this shit is fucked up. But I'm not about to sit here and act like he's just the worst person in the world when America has literally been terrorizing people since the beginning of history. America is literally built on terrorizing people. When, when, um, what's his name? Fucking whatever the guy's name is that discovered America and found the land, he lied. It's been a lie. Everything's a lie. And it's like, like, I'm not going to, like, put yourself in their shoes. Put yourself in their shoes. 3,000 people died during 9-11. 3,000 people. 3,000. Compared to the millions that Americans have killed in Palestine? I'm not saying that the 3,000 people deserve to die because they did not deserve to die. Nobody deserves to die. None of this shit should be happening. But at the end of the day, it's happening and we have to be real about the situation. Like, and then it's like, okay, defending Osama Bin Laden. And we're supposed to be defending America for giving them our, our hard-earned money to kill people? For gen like, what? That don't even make, like, I'm so pissed off right now. Y'all don't even understand, like... Oh my god, like I'm so fucking mad, bro. And I'm mad because I couldn't I can't do nothing about it. Like, what can we do? What can we do? Oh my god. Man, I feel you, sis. But I'm gonna tell you what we can do. Each one reach one. You see what I'm saying? See the more of us that wake up and start realizing these truths. The better chance that we have, the more we can stand together, the more we can stand against. Uh, these governments, we stop voting for these people. We stop putting these, stop relying on these people. You know, this is why it's important for us to know ourselves, know our real history, know where we really come from. We gotta understand and overstand that we've been invaded. We gotta understand that we are prisoners of war. We have to understand. That we have, we would have been living a completely different lifestyle had not these colonizers, colonizers, oppressors came and invaded and slaughtered civilizations and millions of people in order for the system that we have to be in place to be in place the way it is today. When we realize that and we really understand that, that's the first step. Cause then that would give us that give us our power to speak up. They give us our power to say no. You see what I'm saying? But so many people are under the mental illusion that oh, the greatest country in the world. How can we be the greatest country in the world just off based off how we America was built alone? Go do your research on how America was formed. We know, a lot of us already know. We know that for a fact it was built out of slavery. Right? So that right there alone. Besides all the other stuff. I don't understand how so many people was comfortable walking around waving this flag when we know how this country was built in the first place. Then they still going around the world. Starting wars. Terrorizing. Wake up, though.